Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to installment of Scott Selections here for Friday, June 23rd. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Marlins money line at minus 126 on FanDuel. Wasn't easy. The Marlins trailed 4-1 to one in the bottom of the eighth inning and then exploded offensively against the Pittsburgh bullpen as they scored five runs in the eighth inning in a route to a nice 6-4 win. Let's look for the winner here on Friday. And for today's play of the day, going to go to baseball once again. Going to look at a matchup between the Braves and the Reds taking place at around 6-40 p.m. Eastern time, and for this game, going to take a team total in this one. Going to take the Braves, first five team total over two and a half runs at minus 135 on DraftKings, time recording of 12.30 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why we're going to take the Braves' first five team total over in this game. First reason, Atlanta's been really good all season long at scoring runs early in games, especially on the road, as the Braves are averaging 3.5 runs per road game in the first five innings, which ranks first in the league. And they've also been really good offensively lately, as the Braves have scored at least five runs in eight of their last nine games. Meanwhile, the Reds have been really bad at pitching early in games, especially at home, as the Reds are allowing 3.97 runs per home game in the first five innings, which is the most in the league. And you're looking at who's pitching for the Reds in this one. You have Luke Weaver, who's been really bad this season, especially at home. So far this season at home, 26 innings pitched, eight home runs allowed, and a 7.27 ERA. And he's actually been even worse lately, because in Weaver's last three starts, he's gotten shelled. 13 and a third innings pitched, 21 hits allowed, a 10.13 ERA. The point is Weaver has really been a train wreck all season long, and he's been really bad at home. I think he's going to want to struggle in this game. And he's also allowed 13 home runs in 57 innings pitch. So he has a bit of a home run problem, which is important to mention because the Braves are really good at hitting home runs. Atlanta's averaging 1.49 home runs per game, which ranks second in the league. And with the weather, you should see the Braves go deep a couple of times in this game. The weather should result in a 15% increase in runs and a 31% increase in home runs. So I do think you're going to see, once again, a pretty high-scoring game. Totals 10.5 in this one. So you're looking at what could be a shootout, and with Weaver's home run issues, I do think Atlanta could hit a couple of home runs, maybe even hitting a three-run homer early in the game to just give us the win in one swing. But the point is, with Weaver's bad numbers and with the weather, I do think Atlanta's going to tee off against them throughout this game. And to go through the actual trends here, when these teams get together, you tend to see a lot of runs. The over is 8-3-1 and one in the last 12 meetings. So with Weaver back on the mound and with the Braves being really good offensively in the first five innings of games and Cincinnati being the worst at pitching in the first five innings at home this season, I think two and a half is too low for a team total. I think you'll probably see Atlanta score three runs early on in route to giving us a nice win. So play that once again here for Friday, June 23rd is going to be on the Braves' first five team total over two and a half runs and minus 135 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.